As an introduction to Snow Park, one of the things that's required is to set up an IDE and set up your environment to be able to connect to it. This includes a couple of local pieces of software that you need to install, as well as a couple of pieces on Snowflake that need to be set up. This demo is going to walk through the local environment setup with the assumption that you've already done a couple of things. One, you can see that we have Visual Studio Code already installed. Uh, you can find the way to install this on your desired operating system if in the Visual Studio Code documentation. Two, uh, we're assuming that you've downloaded the Snowpark bundle, uh, which includes a jar for the Snowpark environment that allows us to connect to Snowpark. And uh, three, you, you definitely are going to need a Java install, but usually that's installed on most systems, but not all. The first thing that we want to do for any Scala type of development is we want to get uh, the great integration with uh, Visual Studio Code is the extension. So we want to look for a project called, an extension called Metals. With Metals, it allows us to effectively manage our environment, manage our Scala environment. And since we're in the Snowflake directory here, we can see that we can create a new Scala project uh, inside of this directory. And this is how we're going to want to get started in, in this specific example. Uh, as we do this, we're going to just do a hello world example. Um, all we really want to do is make sure that we can connect to Snow Park um, so we don't need anything elaborate. Um, I'm going to make sure that we do this in the Snow Park Snowflake uh, directory. Okay, and then I'm going to use hello world. And this should create a, yeah, it runs a getter down here. And you can see that it asked Grant to create the environment. And we now have a request open in the window. So this will open up a new Visual Studio Code window. And you can see when we open up the terminal that we are in a directory direct that we just created called Hello Snow Park. So now we've created uh, your Scala environment to get ready to do Scala development. Um, one of the first things we can do is change the Scala version. Uh, since Metals is helping us manage this, you can see down at the bottom that it's detected a change. We actually haven't changed anything, but it's new to this environment. Um, Snowpark currently only supports Scala version 2.12 um, and the latest Scala version 13. So we're going to go to the latest um, and we're going to import build. Uh, I do want to note as this runs that Snowpark may support a newer version at the time that you watch this. So please be cognizant of that. Um, you can find, you'll be able to find what versions are supported or not uh, in Snow, Snowflake documentation for Snowflake. A couple other things we need to do to set up the environment before we really get started. Uh, the first is we need to take that jar that we have, so we'll place there. It's the directory of elements. So we have this, we have this bundle, this tar bundle. Okay, so what we're gonna do at this point is we're going to untar, we're gonna do untar this tar ball. So and it's going to unpack this library. And now we have a directory here. So let's explore that. You can see that we have a lib in the snowpark drop jar. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to copy the library that we just got created into our project. And our project is in snowpark. As you can see, we created a library that has all of the dependencies over here. Um, and we still don't have the snow part jar, so let's copy that over as well. Copy this specifically into the lid. See, it just showed up. So we have our project library built. We have our Scala version built. But what we don't have is a 
way to include that new library in our class path. So we are going to add this into our build SBT. We're going to import changes. We're going to let that run in the background. And we get indexing complete. So, so now we are ready to actually code. So where do you do this coding? Well, um, in this hello world example, it comes with a main.scala uh, function or object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run it just to make sure that this runs. Okay, Scala is running fine. Um, now I'm going to just actually totally replace this with the provided example that Snowflake has in the documentation. So a couple things to note. Um, for the purpose of not sharing some of the more secure elements to this, uh, I have made the URL user and password arguments. Um, this is handled by metals in the background by passing command line arguments. Um, my role inside of Snowflake is the public role. I, this is, again, this is a test example. You probably want to have more strict role here uh, than, than the public role. My database is my own. Uh, my schema is inside of my database that I'm running, running in just to make sure I have this isolated. I have a warehouse that's extra small. Um, obviously, this can be sized up as needed. And then the temporary databases. This is something that your, your admin may need, may need help setting up. It's, very, it's recommended to have temporary snow park locations for them to land data and do data manipulation on. Once these are here, um, this will definitely help with the development and making sure that everything's kind of separated or uh, in, its own, in, its, in its correct place. So you might ask, you know, where are these command line arguments coming in? Well, we need to go to the VS Code directory, and we need to add a file called launch.json. And you'll notice this add configuration comes up. Well, when you add the configuration, you can say, hey, Scala, run the main class. Uh, it's type Scala. We're going to name it. Park. The main class in this case is just main. And the args, this is where you can pass args. So I had three arguments. You're going to have your URL. You're going to have your username. And you're going to have your password. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to include those. But this would be what it looks like. You can run it down here. And you can say, hey, I want to run Snow Park, Hello Snow Park from launch.json. And you'll notice that it will come down here now. Obviously, I haven't set these up, things up correctly yet. Um, so let's fix that. Okay, so I've now made sure that the settings are correct. Um, so again, let's run the hello snow park command. Um, you can come to the debug console and you can see that it is executing at this point. And again, you can, you can run it down here. Um, so if you run it in this mode, it's debug. If you run it down here, if you run it up here, it is uh, actual kind of live. And so what you can see is we are showing the tables that exist, and now we can confirm that we've connected to Snowflake via Snow Park uh, and, and via Scala that's running inside of your virtual data warehouse. This concludes the setup required to get into Snow Park. Hopefully this helps get over your learning curve and gets you started quicker.